never mind hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be continuing the business series so i want to make a video on everything you need to know and how to start an online business if you don't know me already my name is grace and i just started youtube last month so i'm still very new so excuse the editing and stuff but i'm still getting used to it and i finally got final what is it called final pro cut so i'm still getting used to that but i've been watching like youtube videos on how to get better susanna this girl that i met over quarantine we've been talking online a lot and i love her content but she commented on my last video and asked to make a video more in detail of how to get started because she wants to start one so this one is for you girl i hope that you find some of the information useful so for this video i feel like i'm gonna do it kind of broad i specifically have an online boutique it's called Called disgrace boutique or at shop disgrace but I'm gonna do something more broad so whatever you need to start an online business in 2021 so first you need to pick a business idea so you need to figure out what you want to sell who do you want to sell it to and there are so many different markets right now you can do drop shipping you can do an online boutique you can sell makeup there's just an endless amount of things that you can sell so this is the best time to start an online business like you're home right now there's not much you can do and i feel like all of your creative juices can blow out i don't know that sounded super weird figure out what you want to sell and who you want to sell it to and after that you can pick a business name so you can pick something that resonates with you or the brand or what you're trying to go for and i know this can sound kind of tricky and i feel like for me, when I knew I wanted to start a boutique, I was so stuck on what to do, but one day it just kind of clicked. And just do something that resonates with you and something that has a meaning to you because you don't want to change this later on. I mean, you definitely can, but it's kind of hard. Actually, I think it might be really hard to change it later on, especially when you're more established. So make sure that you're confident in this name and you can see a future with this brand and name. You're gonna have to check online to see if that name is available. There are so many businesses out there and you need to make sure that no one else has the same name or similar name because they probably have the rights to it. So you wanna make sure, there's a lot of websites you can check the domain to see if it's available. So you wanna make sure that it's available on not only the website and the brand but you need to make sure that the socials are available because i know a lot of people take the social ads so you need to make sure that you have those in line because i think it's really important to have a cohesive name throughout all of your platforms you can check on godaddy website to see if the domain is available and you're gonna want to know what kind of business you want to have so there is sole proprietorship or llc for me i did sole proprietorship because it's just myself and later on I will be an LLC but as of right now when I wanted to start off I just wanted to do a sole proprietorship because it's a little bit easier and cheaper to achieve that but if you have more than one person I would definitely recommend an LLC it's a similar process and starting the business there are some different things like very minor different things and also the taxes are different for a business you actually need to fill out a couple forms and the most important ones are the ein lawyer identification number with the irs that's super easy to do and you can actually get it in like a day so it's super fast you need to get a seller's permit you cannot buy from wholesale if you do not have a seller's permit and this is so important if you want to buy anything wholesale you need to get this and it's so important to have it printed out and just have a couple just in case and i know a lot of people go to like la fashion district to buy merchandise they will ask you for proof so make sure that you always have that handy so want to make sure to check with your city what kind of forms that you need and to register your business within that city and also for me i live in san jose california my specific city i had to publish the business on a newspaper that was certified by the county and I had to be published like a couple of times a week and I think that was about like 50 to 100 dollars it was so random because I feel like none of the videos talked about having to need that but you do need to be published for certain parts so make sure you check with your city and state if you need to do that One of the most important parts is to choose what platform you want to sell on I specifically sell on Shopify and I know that is the most popular one I think it's like the most popular e-commerce selling website so I would definitely check that out there is a price for it I think I do the most basic one which is like 39 dollars 
a month, but it's super helpful. They do have a fee, but every e-commerce website is going to have a fee for that. So I would definitely just check your options. And if you're starting a boutique that is more crafty or you want to sell it on Etsy, it's a little bit different. So I would definitely weigh out your options and see where you want to sell your products on. And you can eventually add more or you can sell them on both. Shopify also integrates with Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest shopping. So it's important to connect those so that it can sync your products and when people are browsing on the different social media platforms they might push your content out or they might push your clothing out and it's free advertisement too mine specifically on instagram there is a shop section so they can actually shop directly from my instagram and also facebook so i feel like that feature is super helpful especially if someone's just coming across your page Shopify makes it so easy to build your website. I can do another video more specifically on how to build it, but if you're starting off, like I'm not very tech savvy and it was super easy for me to just play around with it. And once you have your product photos and some descriptions and you start adding in rough drafts of it, you can see your vision come to life. I swear it's so cool and it's a lot easier than I thought. It's not the easiest, but it's it's still a challenge, but it's easier than I thought it was going to be. For With that, you want to make sure that you open a business account i definitely did this with chase and you also should open a business credit card this can build points for you and just have one centralized credit card to make purchases on and i'm not gonna lie i didn't do this at first and i really regret it because it's kind of a nightmare getting everything separated from my personal and business accounts so definitely definitely separate it when you can in the beginning so you can just go to your local bank which mine is chase i went in i talked to the clerk and i wanted to open a business account and it was super easy it took probably less than an hour this is going to be super helpful in just having one location for your finances and it will be a lifesaver during taxes i know with chase they have like this bonus thing where if you sign up and then follow like three requirements they give you three hundred dollars for free i think they always do it I think the requirements are like insert a thousand dollars the second one is use your card six times and there might be one other one but it's super super easy to get that three hundred dollars for free and that can reimburse some of your supplies because i know in the beginning it does get really expensive and i would say the last and most tedious step of just getting the steps ready for your business is to find where you're gonna buy your products are you gonna do them wholesale are you gonna make them there's so many different options i personally do wholesale and there's so many different websites for example if you are doing accessories or jewelry or fashion i would recommend these three it's fashion go la showroom and orange shine these are the three most popular wholesale websites and they have hundreds and hundreds maybe thousands of different wholesalers and i feel like this part is the hardest but the most fun because every business is so unique because the business owner is curating and choosing carefully the pieces that they want in their store that's what makes them so unique so i love that part and i love how every time i go to like a different business it's a different vibe and it's very personalized to who they are and what the brand is and there's obviously more steps like getting the merchandise private labeling and weighing the items taking pictures there's so much more but these are the steps to get started in your business in 2021 definitely possible it's definitely at reach and you can do it <laughs> if i can do it you can do it like let me tell you it's so crazy to see everything come to life but trust me in the beginning i was very doubtful what helped me a lot was watching these youtube videos that's why i want to create youtube videos to at least help some people out. if you like this video please subscribe like leave a comment turn on your post notifications for more videos like these Diane wants to say hi. Definitely do more videos on the business supplies that I use on a daily basis or how I take product photos. There's so many different things I want to do for this series, so please let me know if there's something that you have in mind. I would love to look at the comments and see your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.